Hey guys, it's Big Cooper and Little Cooper. Little Cooper joining you today. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay and everything is going well at your house and you're not um, driving your parents too crazy. <laughs> um, Rachel and I are going to review with you real quick about the metric system. So we took notes over this um, before we left the week before spring break, but you don't have your journals, so you might want a piece of paper. Um, to write some notes down if you need to and um, this should be a review okay so if we remember the saying for metric system Rachel do you remember what it was um, you're not in the video I, oh <laughs> um, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk can't remember if it was by or something else yeah, so she's got it. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So that's our mnemonic to help us remember um, the order in which our metric system goes. Rachel, do you remember the real metric measurement for the K? Kilo? This is kilo. What about the H? Hecto? Yep. What about the big D? Um, deci? No, that's a low one. I can't remember. Can't remember that one? No. That one's deca, like um, decade. And remember, sometimes you'll see deca with the C, and sometimes you'll see it with the K. What about the B? The B's a little bit tricky. Base. Base. We'll come back to the base in just a second. Now that's, um, whatever I said. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I forgot. What did I say? Deca's the big guy. Desi. Desi is the little guy. Like a decimal. What and about the C? Centi. Centi. And milli. And then little guy. Milli. Okay. So let's go back to the base for just a second. We don't really have a measurement called base. It depends on what we are measuring. If we're measuring length, if we're measuring volume or capacity, which is volume of a liquid, how much a container can hold, or if we're measuring weight or mass, which is in, um, well, I don't, I don't want to tell you what it's in just yet. <laughs> okay, so if we're measuring length, capacity or volume, or weight and mass. Okay, so Rachel, if I'm measuring length, what would my base family be? Um, meter. Yes, that's like the meter stick. So if we are measuring in length, meaning a distance, we would measure in meters. That is the family. Okay, what if we're measuring capacity or volume? Um, I think liters? Yeah, liters. Let me write what these are. Liters and meters. And then if we're measuring mass or weight, what would that be? Gram. Grams. So when we say from our base, that means we're meaning one meter if we're talking in length, like one meter stick that I had in the classroom. If we're talking um, capacity or volume, we're talking one liter, which is half of a two liter um, bottle of soda. And if we're talking, um, weight or mass, we're talking grams, which is what we measure in a triple beam balance, which would be like one paper clip is about one gram. So everything is based off of the base. That's why it's called that. So um, these guys, the kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, milli, those guys are our prefixes for our base. So if we're in, if we're talking distance and I am going to measure in kilo, it would be a kilometer or a kilometer, depending on how you say it. If we're going smaller, which you're familiar with, smaller than a meter stick and breaking that meter stick apart, we would get into like a centimeter or a millimeter. If we are in the liter family, we are talking about a kiloliter. If we're talking about something big, all the way down to something tiny, which is how we would measure like a medicine that you take, like a liquid cough medicine or a liquid allergy medicine, we would be talking a milliliter, mLs. 
And then if we're in grams, that is our weight or our mass. If we're talking about something heavy, you'll have a kilogram all the way down to something really small, which would be a milligram. So a milligram would be like medicine also if you're taking a tablet or a capsule. You'll see that measured in milligrams. Okay, so um, Rachel, yes. if we're starting at the base, what place value is this base like if we're talking about our base 10 number system? Um, at the very bottom. What place value is equivalent or the same as the base? Um, she doesn't know. I don't know. She doesn't remember. I don't know. been almost a month. I said one paper clip or one liter of coke or one meter stick. So what place value is this? <laughs> what? Where's the camera? <laughs> what place value is this like? The ones place. So this is our ones place in our place value number system. So a deca meter or a deca liter or a deca gram is how many times bigger than this? Um, one. It's one time bigger? Or ten. Ten. So this is like our ones place. This is ten times bigger. How many times bigger do you think this guy is than the base? A mm, hundred. hundred. And how many times bigger do you think kilo is than the base? 1,000. 1,000. This is our base 10 number system. If we're going smaller than one, how big is this guy compared to the ones place? Um, or how much smaller, I should say? One tenth. One tenth. So we could write it as a fraction, like we've done in expanded notation, or a decimal. decimal. Okay. What about a centi? Um, one hundred. One hundredth, or we can write it as a decimal. Centi. Centi means hundred. Like there's a hundred years in a century. There's a hundred cents in a dollar. There's a hundred legs on a centipede. Okay. And then milli is how much smaller than the base? One thousandth. One thousandth. So like in a millennial, there are a thousand years. On a millipede, there are a thousand legs. Okay, so this is our base 10 um, metric system. So um, I'll give you a second. You can write that down or you can take a screenshot real quick of the video. Be sure my face looks good. Okay, that gave you time to do a screenshot. Yay. <laughs> so you wouldn't look, so I wouldn't look silly on mm -hmm. your picture. Okay, so now how do we do this with math? This is what y'all did on the scavenger hunt uh, around class when you were looking for measurements on items that I had around the classroom or you were measuring things with a ruler. So this is a review of what we've already done. So this week you're gonna be doing a breakout, um, <gasps> online breakout for each base family. You're gonna do one for meters or length, one for liters, which is volume, and capacity, volume of a liquid, and then one for grams, which is um, weight and mass. Okay, so you're gonna have three different breakout sessions you're um, going to complete. So in order to do the math as a review, I don't have anything to erase with. Um, Paige, let me see your face. <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> kidding. Um, oh, but I do see a sock. I don't think I wanna do that. Give me sock. I guess I'll use a sock. Give me sock. I'll use a sock. I'm going to erase this. <laughs> oh, left some marks. Yeah. That's At okay. least it's still worth. Okay, so Rachel, right? King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Doesn't matter what color? No. It's hard, sideways. It's hard Here, sideways. I'll turn the board for you. Yeah. Here you go. She's just writing, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. It's taken her forever to I'm reach sorry, that. I'm sorry, my mother. 
Okay, my G looks so but it's okay. She doesn't write nearly as nice of me as I do. But I that's don't. a teacher skill. I don't. That's okay. Okay, so let's say um, you are given, give me a number. Two. Four. <laughs> so give Four. me a number. Four. These are brand new markers. What? Fresh out of the package, and they don't work. So do perfect. Do perfect, but I don't there's, have a trash can. There's no trash can. So I'm, I'm gonna pretend. Head. Yay! Go get one. You made it on the ground. I made it on the ground. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Let's try. I know Blue. red worked, but it stains my board. But whatever. Yeah. So let's say two point four. Now, Rachel, give me a letter. R. <laughs> you said any letter. King Henry died uh, okay. by chocolate milk. <laughs> wow, we have some work to do over here. B. M. There's so no we're going to say millimeters. So we're measuring something that's really small. Okay? And we want to convert it. I want to see how many, pick a letter that's up here. <laughs> Big D? Yes. We want to see how many decameters 2.4 millimeters is. Now, obviously, if this is small, think about it. Is it going to take very much of something big? So think about something tiny, and we want to make it into something big. It's not going to take up a very big space of it. So our number is going to be small, okay? Because if I have something small like this, but I'm trying to measure it into something big like this. Does this cap take up very much space of that? No. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down our 2.4. That's the number I was given. And we're going to start where, Rach? Up here. Where are we going to start? Um, we will start. What letter are we going to start on? M. We're going to start on the M because that's what I was given. Okay, and I want to hop to where? The big boy D. The big D, because that's what it asked me for. So we're going to count how many hops that is. So we start on the M and count the hops. One, two, three. How many hops, Rach? Four. Four hops. So I already have a decimal. So since my decimal is already here, that's where I'm going to stop, start hopping. So I put my marker on my decimal. And Rachel, am I going to go to the left? or move to the right? To the left. I'm gonna go left because that's what I did up here. So I'm gonna hop left. Rachel told me four times. One, that's one place value. Hop over two place values, three place values, four place values. Now your decimal's here. And we fill in the spaces with what? Zero. Zeros. So my decimal is not there anymore. It actually has moved over here. So my answer is point zero 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 two four, which is tiny. So that's like if I had this cap and I put it here and I want to know how much space this cap takes of the entire whiteboard. It's a very, very small amount of the whiteboard, which matches this. Okay, let me get my handy dandy sock. Yeah, my socks. I hope I'm not running it, but whatever, they go on your feet. Nobody can see them. Yeah, who cares? Okay. So now let's say I don't have a decimal. Let's say I have 103. Let's go with kilo liters. That's what I'm given, 103 kiloliters. And let's change it to, what do you want to change it to, Rach? Um... She wants to change it to a centiliter, which isn't a very common um, unit of measurement at all. We hear about a milliliter, yeah. we hear about a liter, and we hear about a kiloliter. We don't hear about centiliters often, but they do exist. They okay? Do. They do. So we're going to start with the number we were given, 103. And I do not have a decimal. So, Rachel, if I don't have a decimal and it's a whole number, point to where my decimal is. She is correct. All whole numbers have a decimal and it's after the one spot. Okay, so we're going to start on the K. And what letter are we hopping to? Uh, C. 
C. So I start on the K and I hop to the C. Start on the K and let's hop. One, two, three, four. How many hops, Rach? Five. Five. Five hops. So we start on our decimal and do I go to the right or do I go to the left? To the right. To the right, to, to the, the right, right, to the right, to the right. Now kick, now kick, kick, kick. kick. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. okay. So we're gonna. I forgot. We're gonna move five times. Hop. One, two, three, four, five. Now your decimal's way over here. It has moved down. What do I fill in the spaces with? Zero. And a bunch of them. One, two, two three, three, four, five. five. Wow. So my answer is one, zero, three, with five zeros. Two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna put my commas. That's a huge number. That is. So if I had a swimming pool and I was trying to fill up a container, um, I have a container. Um, um, Pretend like this is my container. Okay. <laughs> a little bowl. Uh -huh. And I had a swimming pool and I was trying to dump it out into scoops of this. Oh, that's gosh. That's gonna take forever, right? Yes. It would take me 10,300,000 scoops to empty something that held that amount of water. If this held a centiliter of water. So it took a lot of these to make a swimming pool. Okay, so that's why my number is so big. All right, hopefully this is all a review for you guys. Um, the other assignments you have this week, you of course have two lessons of TTM to pass this week. And then in Google Classroom, you have a new thing called, um, what did I call it? Pick and say. Mm -hmm. Pick and say. It's um, five problems, you get to choose two, and you're gonna fill out a Google form. Um, explaining how you got your answers. So those assignments are in Google Classroom. Be sure you read it along with the three breakout sessions. So just read each assignment. You guys are used to uploading your work and you know what you're doing. Um, Friday is a holiday, it's Good Friday. Um, we were supposed to be off on April 10th anyhow. So you don't have to do the assignments on the days that it says. Um, on the lesson plan that your parents have access to on our website. So you can pick and choose whenever you want to do any of these assignments. They're all due by April 12th by 11.59 p.m. Don't wait that late to do it, though. Okay? Spread out your work. All right. I miss you guys, and um, I'll post more videos later. Paige is saying hi. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Michelle. Peace.